Good evening, all of you. Welcome to Welfare Academy. Uh, dear students, I hope everybody are really, really doing good uh, during this pandemic time. In respect to this pandemic time, you're really working hard uh, to complete a lot of subjects and topics and all these things. So what I'm going to tell you is, so you have studied most of the portions. So we're going to see something what we're going to do within this uh, three days, which is going to be very less time. So how can you prepare yourself for this meet examinations? The first important thing is never lose your hope, never lose your confidence. You have studied almost for one year, some might have been studying it for months, some might have been studying it during weeks. So I would suggest to whatever you are studying, be confident, don't be depressed, don't be stressful. That's the very important thing that you're gonna do it. And the second important thing is whatever you have studied, it's okay. So last minute preparation, what you're gonna do is don't study anything that is gonna be uh, very tough for you to understand, okay? Suppose if you're taking any chapters that you have never known it, if you're gonna study it at the last moment, you feel discouraged. So study whatever, suppose you've studied 12 chapters, revise all the 12 chapters and then solve a previous year of question papers at the last moment. Don't be in a hurry uh, while you're going to your examination halls also. Suppose if you have to talk about biology, so you might have studied chapters from uh, the living world and till the ecology you might have studied. So how can you revise all this entire chapter that you have studied in the entire uh, year? So we can say uh, from the living world till the ecology, I would suggest you to make a tabulation. Suppose if you're talking about living world, you can talk about the genus name, the species name. And if you're gonna uh, go in for this uh, molecular basis of inheritance, I would suggest you to read some question papers which the questions are repeated again and again. Genetics are very important, keep solving questions in genetics. Human physiology is very, very important. Plant physiology, photosynthesis, remember all the calculations. And if you're gonna talk about respiration in plants, again, the uh, metabolisms are very, very important. All the metabolism you should revise it once again. Suppose if you're talking about morphology, so many might be confused with this morphology chapters because you have a lot of examples. So how can you remember that? Make a tabulation, write all the uh, things along with the examples, which is going to be very, very important. And the next thing is, so after you have studied all these things, revise all these things, and then you're going to have uh, the question paper and just solve the questions. If you're going to go in for physics and chemistry, revise whatever you've studied and then solve the questions, the previous year question papers. Okay. So you have done most of your preparation. So three days should be a preparation of a revision. So don't go for any other new chapters, which makes you discouraged. This is the first thing you're going to do. Be confident. The second important thing, as you have studied most of the things, as you have done most of the things, what you have to do is you have to have certain other things. Like uh, when you're going for exams, what are the things you have to do? What are the things you have to carry? What clothes you have to wear? This is very important. If you're not following rules and regulations, they will let, never let you let the examinations, right? So you have to follow all, all these things. So what's the next thing going to be? What's the last minute run towards me 2021? Okay, so we are going to go for the last minute, right? Towards the success. You're going to be a future doctor. So be confident and you're going to do it. Okay, yes. So. Okay. okay, the very important thing when you're going from your home, to the examination center, please wear mask. Mask is mandatory for you. Uh, so since it's going to be pandemic, I would suggest everybody to wear your mask. So wear your mask and then go from the um, home and then reach the examination. Do not ever remove your mask. If you're going to be a person who's going to go for another district for examination, I would suggest you to go prior day. The before day, you go and reach over there and then the next day, go to the examination center wearing masks. Suppose if you're examining, we have an examination by two o'clock. So I would suggest you to reach the examination hall before two hours. So reach before two hours. Don't be in a hurry at the last minute. Okay, never ever um, um, remove your mask at all and always sanitize it. Okay, yes. Okay, so when you're going into the examination hall, like they used to ask you to come and then they would check you using a sensitive metal detectors to check what, whether you have any kind of metals or something else which you have, cameras or all these things, they used to do it. So you should never ever carry 
some kind of metals, we'll be talking about what are things you need to carry and what not to carry, which is not allowed during your examinations. Okay, so first thing is textual materials. You should not carry anything that is printed, uh, any kind of papers or any kind of small bit pieces, or you should not carry any kind of geometric boxes or pencil boxes like this or pouches. And then log, log books, you should not carry any kind of calculators. You should not carry erasers, pencils, scales, pens, anything you should not carry. It. Okay, yes. And then you should not carry wallets. Suppose if you're traveling, don't carry wallets. If anybody is accompanying with you, give it to them. Do not ever take your wallets inside the examination hall. And very importantly, don't take any kind of goggles. You can wear specs, but not the goggles. Okay, yes. And the next thing is hat. Those who are wearing hat, please remove the hat before entering into your examination hall. And do not carry your handbags or carry any kind of bags inside the examination hall. Don't wear any kind of belt, whether it's a boy or a girl, don't wear any kind of belts. Okay. And don't wear any kind of watches, any kind of watches, women as well as the men. Okay. And bracelets are strictly not allowed and cameras are also not allowed. Okay. So if you are a woman or if you are a girl, if you're wearing a beautiful jewelry, like earrings or chain or like rings and all these things, I would suggest you to remove your earrings, your jewelry, if you're wearing a chain and then remove all the rings, okay? So remove all these things. And very importantly, if you're having any kind of key or any kind of metal items, do not take it because the metal detector will detect you. So never ever use such kind of things. Everybody would be hungry before going to examination. So eat very well before you go to examination, but do not carry anything to the examination. Very important. So if you're hungry, eat before. So don't take any kind of uh, packed items or opened items or water bottles. Anything you are strictly not allowed to take inside. And hydrate yourself before going for examination. Okay, yes. And you should not carry any unfair means, like any kind of devices you should not carry, which makes you connected with people like phones you should not carry, microchips you should not carry, cameras you should not carry, Bluetooth devices you should never ever carry it inside the examination hall. And very importantly, tell your parents, no arrangement will be made in the center. Suppose if you're going alone, you think you want to keep your bag somewhere else, they will not provide you a place to keep any kind of articles or items that belongs to you. Okay, yes. Okay, suppose if you are a woman, or if you are a boy uh, who wears customary dresses or cultural dresses or religious dresses, like women wears burqa. And there are some people who wears, uh, Sikh people used to wear this. So what you have to do, you have to go two hours before. Very importantly, because um, why they asking you to come? Because they want to check you thoroughly so that you don't hide any things inside it. So go two hours before if you're wearing any kind of customary or cultural or religious Clothes. Okay, yes. Suppose if they find you having any kind of devices um, while examining, they would not let you inside. So make sure that you don't have anything inside. Okay, yes. Any kind of metal devices or any kind of cameras, whatever we talk about. Okay, what's the dress code you have to wear? Yes, very important. You should not wear any kind of bright colors. So wear something light colors and do not ever wear a long sleeve. Whether it's a boy or a girl, please don't wear sleeves till the knee or till this region. You can wear until this area. Okay. So which is a half sleeve, you can wear it. Okay. So they will not allow you if you're wearing a, a long sleeve. If you're wearing a kurta which has a long kurti which has a long sleeve, please don't use it. Wear only the half sleeves. Okay. Yes. If you're wearing a cultural dress, you have to report before. Maybe you can reach by 12.30. So if the exam is at 2 o'clock, you can reach by 12.30. Okay, yes. And so for girls, so you used to like to wear slippers and heels and all those things. So during examination, I would not suggest you to wear any kind of heels. Wear a cloth slippers or you wear a slippers or flippers. So don't ever wear any kind of shoes. Boys, please don't wear shoes. No sneakers. And women's no ballerinas and no shoes, and then you should not wear anything that has a high heel, okay, which is prohibited. And in case of any deviation required due to un unavoidable situation, what we should have done, approval from the NDA must be taken before the admit cards are issued. So if you have any medical issues during this time, like COVID or something else, we should have approached before the admit card is released. Okay.
Okay, what are the things that you have to wear? No button shirts. Like you can have button shirt, but the button should not be uh, very big. And women who are wearing don't wear anything that is embroidered, floral, and uh, too much of uh, uh, shimmery things. Please don't wear it. And don't wear anything that is brighter. So wear something pale colors, light colors, and no jewelries. No jewelries at all. Remove all the jewelries that you're wearing it. And no sunglasses, but you can have your specs. No goggles. Okay. And very importantly, no jeans. You can wear a formal trousers or formal pants. Trousers are pants only. So you can wear a normal uh, pants and no watches, no bracelets. And what are the things that are allowed? You can wear a shirt, which, which has a small buttons. You can wear a normal t-shirt, which is light in color. Okay. Usually pale colors you can wear. And women's no heels, no heels. You should not wear heels. Then what to wear? You can wear a normal sandal or you can wear a slippers. So guys, please wear slippers, no sneakers, no shoes, no formal shoes. And you can wear normal specs if you're wearing it and formal pants. Boys, you wear formal pants. Okay. Yes. Okay. So all of you reach before. Uh, I would suggest you to reach before two hours prior. Okay. Yes. And then what are the things you have to carry in? Very important. Many, many might miss these things. Okay. So if you're traveling very far, the before day, keep everything ready. Okay. Admit card. First thing is admit card. Download your admit card. Fix your passport size photo in it or your postcard size photo in it. Okay. And very importantly, apart from that, take extra passport size photo. Not only one photo, you can have two to three photos. Suppose if you're missing it, you can use it. And then proof, valid proof you need to have. You can have your uh, PAN card. Usually you might not be having PAN card. You can have your driving license. Voter ID if you have, or if you have your ration card or your other card, and then admit card with photograph, you should carry that. Okay. And then postcard size photo, which is four into six. This you should have stuck in your admit card and passport size photo. You should take and go. If you're not taking any one of these things, they would not let you get inside the examination hall. So which you, which makes you panic at the last moment. So make all these arrangements before you go. Okay. Yes. Okay. So they will ask you to uh, go to the seat and sit when the examination hall actually opens. So make sure that you're ready to go inside. Okay, yes. So the admit card will be asked to be given to them. So you have to take the admit card and then you have to have a picture on it. Okay, yes. And you have to know your roll number. Very importantly, remember your roll number before going, see which is your roll number. And according to your roll number, you have to go and sit in your allotted seats. Okay, yes. And then if you're going after 1.30, suppose if you're reaching, if you're late after 1.30, they would not let you inside to write your examination. So please remember to go before the prior time. Okay, yes. And if you're not bringing any kind of certificate on the test center, they would not let you write it. So make sure that you have all the documents ready. Okay, yes. So I hope everybody knows the test pattern, but we can have a overview of how the test is going to be. You know the total mark is going to be 720, right? Yes. Let's see. So the total mark, suppose if we have to talk about the total mark, the total mark is going to be 720. And you know, in physics, you're going to have two sections. In chemistry, you're going to have two sections. In botany and zoology, you're going to have two, two sections. So in section, you're going to have 35 questions. And you're going to write all the questions, 35 questions. Okay. And in the uh, physics second, section B, you're going to have 15 questions. Out of 15 questions, you're going to answer only 10 questions. So 10 into 4 makes 40 questions. So yes, the same goes for chemistry. So 35 questions, you're going to have only all the questions written. So 140. Out of 15 questions, 10 questions, you're going to attempt it. And then in biology, botany and zoology are divided. So it's going to be 35 questions. You're going to attempt all the questions. And out of 15 questions, 10 questions in botany. You have an option to choose. So choose the answer smartly, whichever you know. Okay, out of 15 questions, if you know uh, 11 questions properly, and out of one question you're not knowing it, don't attempt the question that you have doubt to answer 10 questions. Zoology, again, section A, 35 questions, you need to compulsory attend it. And the rest, section B, 15 questions, answer only 10 questions. Okay, yes. And there's going to be negative marking for those who do not know. For every correct answer, you're going to have four marks. And if you write one wrong answer, suppose you're getting four marks for one question. So if you write wrong answer, minus one will be detected. So you're going to get only three marks. Okay, yes, just remember this. 
Okay. And then very important one, apart from that, when you can enter, till what time they would allow you? Only till uh, 1.30, they would allow you inside the examination hall. After 1.30, they would not allow you inside the examination hall. Okay, so what are the things you're going to do? You're going to uh, properly prepare all these things uh, before the examinations. Okay, yes. And then. So how can I reduce my anxiety now? If you're gonna ask me that, yes. So you have done most of the things, you're prepared so well. So stay on the top of your work. That's what I can tell you. So if you have prepared so well, don't be stressful. Whatever you have done, you have written so many questions, you have done so many tests. So it's gonna be very easy for you. Just be confident on yourself. If you're not gonna be confident, you will answer wrong questions. So be prepared and stay on top of your work. Okay, yes, practice past your question papers within these three days and under exam conditions and without notes. For example, if you're having notes in your hand, you can prepare it or else read all the important points in there. Okay. So just um, take, relax yourself. Don't be stressful. Don't think a lot about it. Don't have a negative thought on you. And don't calculate a passing mark. If you're writing anything, don't calculate yourself before writing. The examination people used to calculate. I'm going to get this much. Please don't do that. If you know it, if you're writing it, just come back. Again, avoid unnecessary pressure. Don't be stressful. Don't put a lot of pressure on you. Whatever you have done, you're going to do it. And that's going to be very, very good. And set realistic goals. You, you think in your mind that you're going to become a doctor. While you're entering into your examination, well, don't be stressful. Think like you're going to be a future doctor. Okay, just imagine that. And go into the examination hall with a positive mindset. This is very important. If you're not going to have your positive mindset, ultimately, you're not going to answer it properly. So have a positive mindset. Don't think about the previous exam. Suppose if you are, have returned the NEET examination prior and don't have the same thought that you're not going to do it. So have a positive thought and go inside the examination part. Yes, an examination is not only a test, right? If your academic knowledge, uh, we can say test. It's not only a test, we can say. So it is also a test of your how calm you're going to be during your examination, how stable you're going to be, how courage you're going to be. So you have to remember all these things device for this day and prepare for the questions you're going to rock it okay yes so very good luck to all of you so believe you can and you are halfway there so the final is going to be the success you have okay so success is in your hand so don't be discouraged be happy you're going to rock it yes so success is loading for you you're going to see it yes thank you all of you we'll meet in the next video thank you so much